Hi, my name is Ray from the Internet Glass Network. I got a surprise today. And it'll be the first time in the first video of how to remove the old glass from your frame and to put a new one in. The only difference is this is going to be done right. <laughs> I've seen way too many videos of kids cutting their hands and stuff and taking the frames off of housings and doing whatever that's the opposite of what you really have to do and what you should do. So, glued. So the following tools is what you need. You need anything to remove a car mirror, which nobody has been showing on the internet, okay, is a secret. And it's incredible that nobody's been uh, doing it. It's called heat. Heat is the thing that breaks down adhesive. If you ever have a bolt on a car that's rusted, and you've tried the WD-40 and the liquid wrench and you can't get it off, what do you do? Heat. Okay, expansion contraction always works, and especially breaking down of adhesive. The second thing you would need is, and I know a lot of you don't have this item, but it's what they call an autoglass scraper. Um, we do sell these online. They're a nice tool even to use after, uh, um, after you're done with it, because it's a carbide steel in which you can sharpen using a stone. But they're great little tools. I do sell them on the net, and they're a great tool to get off the mirror for the car. If you don't have a this, you can use a putty knife because you'll notice how easy this mirror comes out once I heat it up. Okay, the next thing you need is painter's tape and uh, basically silicone in which to glue it back in, in which we also sell online. So what we're gonna do is also, you need a garbage can. Now, we put the garbage can underneath, and now we're going to apply heat throughout the mirror. Now, you don't want to get too crazy with it, and you don't have to worry about it cracking. Actually, that's a good thing when it starts to crack on you. Now, I've seen too many videos where people were trying to do this without heat and they were struggling and, and re it's just ridiculous that, um, but anyhow, we're not showing it the correct way. Now, once you apply some heat to it, which is going to be probably several applications, you want it to absorb for a little while. Now, this glass is hot. I should wear gloves, but I'm not going to cut myself. But basically, you get a corner, get underneath it. And you're gonna hear and notice that this glass is now pulling out. Now, you don't wanna ruin the frame. So, you just go nice and slow. Don't, there's no hurry in this job. So I don't wanna ruin the frame because uh, it's basically what holds the, the, uh, the glass in and I want that frame to work. So again, I'm gonna apply heat. And if you don't have a propane torch, Okay, the next thing you can use um, is basically uh, your, your, your wife or your daughter's hair dryer. They could go up to 15, 1800 watts and they get pretty darn hot. So you can heat it up with a hair dryer. Now if you notice, I'm not touching it yet because the more I let the heat absorb into the frame, the more it's gonna loosen up the adhesive in which was used previous. You never wanna take the frame off the motor, motor housing, and the reason is this like having a third hand? I'm not holding a frame while I'm doing this. The housing is doing it for me. Okay, so here we go. Bye, mirror. So now, do you want your heating element back, Max? If we can work it, yeah. Okay, now I'm having a struggle with getting off the pad. The heating element pad is uh, glued to this frame. Again, apply heat. So we're basically peeling off the old heating element. There's the grids, okay? So I have a little bit of inventory in which I do have a heating element. We do have the, uh, the OEM heating element, okay? This is basically, he's got, we do sell the heating elements. Go to the additional options on the website. You'll see the heating element along with the uh, silicone. Okay, so now basically we got the two males. Now what I, what I strongly suggest is uh, doing the first thing, because we're ready to, we're basically ready to install. 
Now, I also sell the silicone online. Okay, basically it's pure non-latex based silicone. Uh, it's very high acidic. It will glue into anything. It'll glue and bond the plastic glass, and that's really what we want. Uh, to glue in the plastic and glass. Now, the way these heating elements are activated is every, when he, in the morning, wakes up, he turns on his defogger or he turns on his backlash. Is when the heating elements uh, turn on. Okay, so we basically take the silicone and we break the tip. All right, so you, what you basically do is you break the tip, use a, use a razor blade, and now you've broken the tip on the silicone. What you want to do is place it in, in four spots in a mirror. And what I suggest is always keep it about an inch, inch and a half from the frame lip. Because once you do this, the glue will not ooze out and you'll have a mess. If it ever does ooze out on you, and say it comes out where the frame is, the frame lip, do not touch it. For the reason is silicone is very high acidic and you'll never get it off the mirror. It'll be a mess. And then one in the middle. As you see, we're not using a lot. We're they're probably half inch by three eighths of an inch out. Now, what I suggest you do before you install it is to connect the uh, is to connect the uh, the power leads. And don't put the power leads after you glue it in. Okay. The reason is, is that you have the mirror in, you might have to pop out the, the housing. Now, actually, this glass is going to fit OEM around this frame. I am now installing it. I'm pushing it in. And voila, Gaston, we have a new mirror. Let me show you first surface chromium, and I'll put it up against the, the lens. It has 40% translucency, which means it absorbs 40% of the light. And if I put it up there, Max, can you see my face? Yep. See how you're looking through a mirror? Perfect. Now, let's look at what he had. Can't see crap. All right. <laughs> now, now, as Max drives away, we want to make sure that what we did in this hard work today is going to stay on his vehicle. We apply it on the back end of his housing. We basically apply it to his mirror. And you, you do one run in the middle. We don't go crazy. You don't have to fully tape it in the back so it's easy to come off. I mean, he is going to run into a situation while he's driving down the road. He's going to see a little bit of yellow. As they call me mellow yellow. That's right. Do. They call me mellow yellow. All right, so now the tape, now the mirror holding into place. Hopefully now you have seen how to remove a car mirror from a frame that the glass is broken and doing it properly. By using heat is your answer. It makes the job easier. Um, instead of if I was to do this at 40 degree temperature without the heat, the glass would be splattering all over the place. I, I, and I would do what the kid did on, on his YouTube. He cut himself. Keep the frame on the motor. It is like having a second hand, okay? This way I'm not fumbling with a, you know, a plastic thing in my hand and then jabbing myself and bleeding. Um, uh, but yes, I'm Ray from the Internet Glass Network and you can go to the bottom of the page and go to my URL. This happened to be a replacement on a 2002 Chevy Tahoe, which is very similar to the Suburban and, uh, and all the GM trucks. Uh, they're, great, they're great trucks, they last forever. So I thank you very much for watching the YouTube. Go to www.auto-glass.com and or www.internetglassnetwork.com. My name is Ray Albrecht and thanks for uh, watching my video. You have a great day.